Hey, hi guys, this is Bakka Pachan Chalikar. Welcome back to sessions on interview questions and answers. So let us jump to the Java program, which is asked in most of the interviews. So write a Java program to reverse a given string. So this is, this is my input string I have. That is uh, interview Java programs. So after writing a logic to make a reverse of this given string, so our output will be looking like this. First, it will uh, print through the program, programs reverse of this particular string. And, and after that, it will print through the reverse of this particular Java. Then it will print through the, next it will print through the reverse of the interview. So let us jump to the Eclipse ID. So here I will quickly create one uh, Java class with the main. So here I'm specifying the Java class name. As interview Java program for. So that's it, I'll check this particular checkbox to get the main method. So that's it. So here I will uh, quickly create a one simple string variable and I'll, and I'll initialize the, this particular input string. String, here I'm specifying the variable name as input string. So here simply I will assign the, initialize the value to the input string variable. Then I will create another string variable that is capable of storing the reverse of the given string. So here I'm specifying the variable name as reverse string. So simply I will not assign anything to this particular variable as of now. So at the end, this particular variable will be holding the reverse of the this input string. Whatever we have specified the string variable, it will reverse the this particular value and it is this particular variable will be storing it. So that's that's it. So here I'm going to write one simple for loop. So that is pointing from length minus one to the zero index. So what I'll do is I'll write a for loop int i is equal to so if I need to find the length of the any given string, I need to use the one inbuilt method called length. So here I'm running my for loop starting from the length minus one string dot length minus one. So this is nothing but my for loop is start started running from the this particular so now at this point it is pointing to the this particular s yes. so in the first condition so next condition i have is i greater than or is equal to zero then i will simply decrement the i value so that's it so first my i will be i value will be pointing to the s then it will decrement the value i value the next time i value will be decremented so next it will be pointing to the m so whenever i value decrements so it, it will points to the next a like this it will continues to this r a greater than r is equal to zero in the this particular given string so that's it it's very simple so what I will do is I will get the character of each character from this particular input string and I'll add to the this reverse string variable. So by using this particular input string variable, so I'm going to call one method called caret. So that brings you the 
every character in that particular index. So, char at. So here it is asking you the index. So here this particular i is holding the index. Based on this, we can fetch the value from this particular given string. So that's the reason I'll pass the value of i. So every time this particular i will be pointing to the characters that is starting from the s then m then a so on so that's it so once i got every character by using the caret so i will assign that to the reverse string variable so simply i'll paste it here and i'll add it and I'll assign to the reverse string. That's it. So this particular variable will be holding all the characters, whatever coming, whatever coming to this for loop, starting from the length minus one, that is yes to the i. So every characters will be added to the this particular reverse string variable. Then I will simply print the reverse string value so that's it let me execute this program so if you look at here so first it is reversing the given string that is the programs then we have reverse value of java then we have reverse value of i that is i mean interview so first it is reverse the interview then java then programs so this is the first logic what we have so another logic for this uh, this particular like uh, reverse a given given string is so this is the very first logic i have prepared and the ne next logic is very simple you can use the all inbuilt methods and you can reverse the given string so this is the input string we have so here i'm going to create one a simple object that is a class of string buffer here i'm creating the object of string buffer class under this i'll pass the string variable that is input string that's it then after that i i'm going to call to the one simple method that is called reverse so if you look at here we have a second method called reverse so then after that i will convert this particular reverse value into the two string so that's it once i convert this particular all the characters of this particular string to the two string so always this returns you the string type so i will store that into the format of string variable reverse string 2 and simply i will print the value of reverse string 2 so this is an inbuilt method we have and this is also an inbuilt method i have used by using inbuilt method you can reverse the given string also so this is a like logic what we have written to to print the reverse of the given string and the second logic what we have used is all inbuilt methods and we are re reversing the given string so if we, we execute this particular program both the output should be same so it is if you look at here it is printing you the programs and java then interview in the second output also if you observe it First, it is printing you the programs, then Java, then interview. So both the outputs are matching here. So you can use any of the these logics to uh, give a, to print a reverse of the given string. So that's all I have in this session. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section of this below video. Click on subscribe if you want to get more updates from this channel. If you like this video, please 
share with your friends and like this video thank you thank you so much for watching this session on interview questions and answers